So hey y'all, hey, um, I'm going to be teaching or training or whatever tonight um, <laughs> about just um, just growing your network. Um, and now a lot of the other trainings um, I'm doing do uh, kind of go hand in hand with this one. Um, but I felt like this one really just needed its own training because there's so many different ways you can grow your network. Uh, and I'm just going to kind of touch base on all of them. Um, and how I've been able to grow my network. Um, I have three Instagram accounts currently. Um, two of them I've had, one of them I've had for ever. That was my original Instagram account. Um, that one has like 8,500, um, I think. Yeah, like 8,500 followers. Um, and then I have my keto one, it's called Lazy Keto Mama. Um, I started that one about a year ago and that one has about 8,200. Um, and then I just started one a little before Christmas and that one's been, um, booming as well. So, um, and on Facebook, I've almost got the maximum of friends. So, um, social media wise, I'd say for the most part, um, pretty good at networking. So, um, now in person, that's not my thing, but Shay's going to talk to you all more about, um, <laughs> doing um stuff in person like events and parties um but so pretty much how i grow my network um so um sorry somebody notification on facebook so um there's a few different ways so now on facebook um if you saw my host to post video last night um that's mainly how i grow my um network on Facebook. Um, now I still do add friends organically, so I won't go to like, um, so like, okay, so like on my host post, if you didn't watch my host post video, when I do host post, everybody who comments on that person post, I go and add them as a friend. Um, but so if I'm not doing host post, um, there's a few different ways. I never go and like the people you may know, I never go and add those people because, um, I'm friends with quite a few distributors. You know, I've got a you know, a fairly, um, you know, a decent sized team and a lot of them are in my area. So I don't go to friends you may know because a lot of them could be my team's potentials too. So I just don't do that. Some people do. I personally just don't. Um, I will go, so I'll go down to like, um, a ra I'll go down to my friends list and I'll like randomly scroll down there and then I'll click on a friend and then I'll go to their friends lists and then I will like, um, if there's like, it'll say like, um, something like, uh, people, not necessarily people you may know. I think it's like suggestions or something like that from your, uh, that friend's friends list. So I'll go and add people. Um, yeah. So I'll go and add people from, um, that. Um, and then I also, um, I'm in a lot of Facebook groups, um, so I'll go in Facebook groups, um, like mom groups and stuff like that. Um, most of the times how I work those, um, I will go and, um, okay, I'm, I'm doing something. I'll, give I'll scroll through there and, um, uh, make sure, like, I'll scroll through there and look and see, like, um, cause there's a lot of times, like, especially on mom groups, I don't know why, some moms are just, like, really mean um and judgy and stuff but so like don't be like some like poor first time mom or something posting about a diaper rash or something um and nobody commented on her post trying to help this girl out so i'll comment on there and be like oh my gosh my favorite thing for diaper rashes is coconut oil or whatever and then that girl will be like oh my god thank you so much i you know didn't know what to do and then i'll go add her as a friend and she'll accept my friend request because she'll be like oh my god that's delaney that nice girl who told me to use coconut oil on my baby's butt like I want to be friends with her because she might be able to help me later on with some other stuff. So, um, that's a good way. Now, if you're not a mom, like, um, if you're a dog mom, there's dog groups for dog moms. You know, there's groups for, um, people who like to cook, people who do keto, people who like to work out, um, people who like to sew, who like to knit, who like to do crock pot stuff, who do, um, little, like, what is that? the stuff where you cut out the vinyl that stuff um like there's a Facebook like if you have a hobby or something you like I can guarantee you there's a Facebook group for it and if there's not you should probably go make a Facebook group because there's probably a lot of people who have that hobby too who would be um interested in that so um Facebook groups that's kind of how I use that um 
and that's about it for Facebook. I mean, there's some other stuff like I go um, on the events. Um, there's an event page on Facebook. I don't know if I've ever done this, um, but you can like look at events in your area um, and I'll add people off of there. Like I'll click that I'm going to the event and sometimes I'll actually go to the event. Um, like sometimes like there's a little brewery um, down the road from my house. They do a bunch of cool stuff. Sometimes I'll go there. Um, they have like a thing like called brew yoga. Um, sometimes I'll go to that and like, um, so like there'll be an event for the class and I'll go and add all the people cause they saw me at the class. I'm like, Oh, that's that girl Delaney. Sure. You know, um, Zumba, whatever. Um, there's tons of like events and classes and groups and stuff you can go to. So, um, like for me, if I have a weekend where I know like I'm, Oh, I'm not doing anything this weekend. Um, I'll go on my event page on Facebook and just try to go do something. Um, I'm not like, I have horrible social anxiety. Um, and I'm not like, I won't let somebody in person. <laughs> I know I probably should. That is like, like my weakness or whatever. Um, but I will go and like meet people in person and then I go add them on Facebook and then, oh, they see my stuff on Facebook. So I guess in a way I'm kind of doing, I'm networking. I'm just not like in your face about it. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just a few ways I do on Facebook and it's really, I mean, I'm almost to the max, um, of friends on Facebook. So I'd say it's working pretty well. Um, I know everybody tells me, Tam just said, I wouldn't think you have social anxiety. Yeah, I get that all the time, but I really do. Like I just went to a Zumba class and I didn't really talk to anybody and I did my little Zumba in the back. I have, I just have horrible, like, I don't know what to say. I don't know if I'm on camera. Uh, I used to be bad at this, but like the more I've been doing this business, the easier it's been for me. Um, but yeah, I really do have bad social anxiety. Um, but this business has helped so much with it. Um, okay, so that's kind of how I do Facebook. Um, Instagram, Instagram's a whole nother ball game. Um, but in a good way though, because Instagram, like, like when you add somebody on Facebook, you have to make some kind of interaction, I feel like, or something with them. Um, or 90% of the time they're not going to like accept your friend request because they don't know who you are or why you're adding them as a friend, you know? Um, it's just one of those things like, they're like, who is this girl and why is she adding me? Like, I don't know if y'all ever have been like that. I remember like back in the day, I say back in the day, a few years ago, you know, I would be with my friends and like somebody would send me a friend request. I'm like, who is this chick? Do you know her? <laughs> you know? Cause I'm like, why is she sending me a friend request? I don't know this person. Um, cause like on Facebook, that's your friends, but on Instagram, you don't have friends, you have followers, people are following you. So when they see like, you know, Delaney added them on, or my name's not Delaney on Instagram, but whatever. Um, so Delaney, um, followed them on Instagram. I'm like, oh my God, she followed me, whatever. Um, how cool. I got a new follower. I want more followers. Everybody wants to be freaking a, a influencer on Instagram. They love followers. And then when you follow them, like 90% of the time they go and look at your profile, especially this is why, like, I really feel like I sh I'm probably going to do a training just on Instagram because Instagram is so important. But like, that's why it's so important to have like a nice looking, um, it doesn't have to be professional, but just like a nice, like bright, um, pretty, um, profile picture and stuff because that's, what's going to make somebody click on your profile or not. 90% of the time. I always say 90. That's just a good number. I don't know if that's so legit. Like, um, numbers for this, but, um, uh, I don't know if y'all can kind of like see my profile picture. Maybe not way in there. It's me. Um, <laughs> but like, it's so bright and I, I, you know, I look nice for once. Um, I'm looking super excited. They're like, oh my gosh, what's this girl so excited about? Let me go look at her profile. And then they look at my profile and of course, um, my account's private. Well, I have one account that's private. I have one that's not, I don't know if it really makes any difference. Um, especially since I've started doing interaction marketing more. Um, but like, so they look at, if my account's private, they look at my account and they only see like this. You know, so your bio is so important, you know, but when they see my account and they're like, ooh, she's a mom or ooh, she likes coffee or whatever, they're going to add me because they're like, oh, I like that too. Or this girl probably has a really cool page. Let me add her. Um, cause I want to, you know, I want to see her stuff too. Cause that's what people like Instagram is literally like people just want to like scroll and look at pictures of people. 
Like that's what Instagram is. They don't really have any like emotional connection to you or anything like that. Or they want to watch your story and watch you talking about your dogs all the time. Um, I follow like, for example, Courtney Bohr, I follow her just because she's so freaking adorable and I love watching her stuff. Um, <laughs> but so, um, anyway though, so like following people on Instagram, um, it doesn't matter if you know them or not. Like Instagram, like I said, people like are flattered when you follow them. It's not weird. They're not like, oh my God, who is this person? That's so creepy. Um, so what I do, I will go to like, um, places I like, um, that has to do with something with my branding, you know, so I like, I like, um, coffee. Um, so I'll go look up like coffee shops in different areas. Like I'll go and click Austin, Texas coffee shops or something and look up a coffee shop there. Um, I'll look up like college colleges and stuff like that because like, I'm, I'm in that age range, you know, and people are in that age range. I'll look up, um, sometimes I'll go to hashtags and look up like boy mom or girl mom or whatever. And, um, I'll go and like, uh, follow people through there. Um, I will go to like different keto accounts that I really like. Um, and not ones that do a MLM, just like regular keto accounts or whatever. And I'll follow people on there. Um, but I don't just go to their followers and follow them. I go to the likes on their photo. Like I'll go to like, I won't go to the most recent one, but I'll go to like the second or so most recent one. Um, and I'll go and follow all the people who are on, who like that. Cause I'm going to know, Oh, they're interacting. Um, they're active followers. That's what I want. I don't want somebody who's just going to like sit in my followers list. You know, I want them to be liking my photos and, um, you know, uh, sharing my stories and stuff like that. Um, another really cool thing is, and I learned this, um, from Carrie Young, I think, um, if you don't keep up with her stuff on YouTube, she's pretty awesome. Um, but so she had always, what she does is like when somebody, so like on my private accounts or even on my regular accounts, I can see who follows me back. So, um, when somebody follows me back or just follows me, I'll go to their account and I'll like, uh, she calls it friendly stalking. I will literally go and like and comment on like 20 of their photos. And that makes them go and look at my profile and then like or comment on some of my stuff or see, you know, watch my story. Um, or even a lot of people, especially like if you do this to like people who are um, influencers and stuff like that, they will give you a shout out on their time or on their uh, wall or their story or whatever. So then you've got all of their followers seeing that, seeing your, you, and they go and follow you too. So that's a pretty cool way. Not everybody does shout outs, but I have gotten a ton of shout outs, especially when I go and do that um, with influencers and stuff. So that's a really great way to um, grow your network on Instagram um, is having influencers share your stuff and then having their followers follow you. Um, so I also go through, um, my follow, like, cause I message on Instagram. That's my thing. Um, I made a messaging training. If you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. Um, but so, uh, I'll go through my followers and I'm like in the process of doing this right now. And it's a pain in the butt. Cause like I said, there's like 8,000 followers on each account. Um, but I'll go and go through them. And like, if, you know, I've messaged somebody, messaged people before, uh, and, like, it's gotten to the point where, like, I've messaged them, like, 50,000 times, and they've never, res or, and they haven't responded or whatever, then I'll go and unfollow them. That doesn't mean they're not following me still. It doesn't mean I'm not going to still, like, follow up with their messages, because their messages are still there. I'm just unfollowing them, because I'm only, like, you're only allowed to follow 7,500 people on Instagram. So, uh, I want to be able to, like, make sure, like, if there's somebody, or somebody just told me flat out, like, no, I'm not interested, I don't want your products, or whatever, I'll unfollow them. You know, they're still like 90% of the time they still follow, like they still continue to follow me. They're still watching me, but I'm not following them anymore. So that frees up my followers, um, for me to go follow more people who might be interested. Cause I got to like this weird, like, um, you know, I don't know this weird, like place where I was like, Oh my gosh, I can't follow any more people. I've already messaged almost everybody on my, you know, followers list, like, what do I do now? That's why I started making so many Instagram accounts, but you know, so now like I've really gone through and like, um, I've been cleaning those, my following list out. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much what I do, um, to grow my network. 
Um, there's probably like a million other ways to grow it. These are just the ways I prefer to grow them. Um, I was using the Captivate app for a while. Um, I heard, I don't know, I wasn't getting these great results from it and I heard a lot of other people were too. So I've been um, following more organically lately um, and I've been getting really good results from that. Um, especially because I am getting, I am getting close to my max on both account, both of my main accounts. Um, but I still use the cleaner app frequently and that just unfollows other people who aren't following me back. Um, so yeah, um, does anybody have any questions or anything before we get off of here? I think that's pretty much it for, um, growing your network. Oh, I also, on my host to post, um, when I make a host to post, um, like the posts with my giveaway or whatever, I, I started doing like tag a friend. Um, and then I add like all the friends. So I'll be like, um, if you want to be in our drop an emoji below and tag a friend, I'll add all the friends that get tagged on there as friends too. Um, and I'll send them a host to post message as well. So I've been growing, I think that goes back to host to post, but I've been growing my network a lot with that too. Host to post has literally like taken my, in, on my Facebook friends list from like 2000 to like 4,500 in like, four to five months. So that's, a, if you're not doing host to post, like you are missing out on so much in this business. So I guess if nobody has any questions, I'm going to end it tonight. Yeah. Um, Tam, if you have a hard time with people following you on Instagram, um, I can help you out. Like with looking at your Instagram, it might just be like your Instagram. Um, cause I mean, First of all, if it's not on private, you should probably put it on private. Um, but second of all, your bio just has to look really nice and clean. Um, because I mean, people want to follow you. I'm not going to say people want to follow perfect people, but like people want to see stuff that's like, um, pleasing to the eye, if that makes sense. So like sometimes like I post like pictures, like I've posted a picture before and I've gotten so much like um, feedback from it where I was just like, I had a huge pile of laundry on my, on my uh, recliner in the living room and my hair was a mess. Um, but I still posted like the picture was still bright and it looked really good. Um, and I, you know, and I, I put a lot of time into the post. Um, but like my bio, just my bio just looks really nice. And I've got like, um, we'll talk some more about like branding though, but like I've got like the things that um, I really like and that I branded myself with. Um, and I feel like that has helped me a lot with getting people to follow me back because um, I look like it, on, on there, like on my profile, it looks like something that somebody's interested in following. And they have to follow me back because my account's private. So they have to follow me back to see my stuff, you know, and most of the time they're not going to like follow you and then like unfollow you right away. So, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Well, I'm going to get off of here, but yes, Tam, I will definitely do that. I'm not sure if we're following each other on Instagram. I think we are, but I'm not positive. So send me your, um, just send me a message with your Instagram, um, account link, whatever your name <laughs> on Instagram. And I'll, wait. um, I don't know. But I'm going to get off of here.